Hey everyone, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine and we are continuing our 12 days of Christmas series for 2022 and today's project is going to be a gingerbread house. All right, now for the assembly process. Uh, first, I did use 1 8 inch Sapili plywood from Smoky Hill Designs with this material. And be sure to use 1 8 inch material or three millimeter material for this project because it won't fit properly if you use a thicker material with the slots right here. And this is a little bit darker than um, the Sapili that I bought from, the, from Smoky Hill only because I did put a finish on it. So it is a little bit darker, that was just my preference. And I also cut these embellishment pieces, everything, all the windows and all the white pieces you're gonna see. This is on 1 8 inch white MDF from Laser Wood Supplies. I highly recommend this product. It came out really nice, as you saw just a minute ago. Before I took all the pieces out of the bed, I wiped it down with LA's Totally Awesome and a paper towel. I wiped everything down and it came out super clean and I'm really impressed by it because there's absolutely no burn marks after wiping it down. So highly recommend this. And on the gingerbread house, you'll see score marks where you need to place the embellishments. So for instance, this piece right here is gonna go over this score mark, so you'll be able to see where to place it. I did that for pretty much all the embellishments except for a couple of pieces where you can place where you want them. For example, on the back side of the Jordan Bread House, I did not put a marking where the snowflake goes, but you can place that wherever you want. And I'm going to go ahead and assemble the gingerbread house, probably using Gorilla Super Glue for the little slots. You can also use wood glue for that. And I'm just going to be placing the sides together. They're gonna to all intertwine as you can see right here. And then the top pieces will go on the top right here and so on and so forth. There is not a bottom for this, but you really don't need one. And you could also put some lights um, underneath it once it's all completed so that you can see light through the windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that and I'll show you at the end what it's gonna look like. All right, here we have it. There were a lot of pieces to it, but I think it was definitely worth it because I love how it turned out. Here's the front, as you can see, and we'll go around to the sides and the back. And finally, the other side, which is the same as the opposite side. So I really like how it turned out with the Sapili plywood. If you can't get your hands on Sapili, I think walnut would work just as good in my opinion. So whatever you prefer. And like I said before, you can put lights, LED lights inside of it so that the lights will shine through the windows or you can just leave it as is and it would look just as good. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you're interested in making this yourself, I'll have the file in the description box below on where you can purchase it. And if you're interested in buying your own Glowforge machine, please feel free to use my referral code that's also in the description box below on where you can get money off. Plus I would get credits too, which my family and I truly appreciate. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and stay tuned for the next video.